I have two boys and a girl. Now my daughter is 10. She's going to be 11 very soon. At, you know, at what, so she's in like a developmental stage. How, like how soon could I know if something down the road may, that she may have this? Well, if you don't have BRCA1 and 2, Lisa, then she can't have BRCA1 and 2 unless she got them from their dad. Okay. Um, because we have to remember that these genes can be passed from the mother or the father. And it's really important to remember that. Be people tend to think, oh, well, I only have breast cancer on my father's side, so it doesn't matter. And as I'm sure Kim can attest, it absolutely does matter if it's on your father's side. In my family, we have BRCA1, BRCA1. My aunt and her sister, my father's sisters, both mm. have the gene, and mm. it came from their father. So, yep. interesting. Is it negative? So I don't have to worry about that. But I also have a strong personal family history in that my mother and her sister and their mother all had breast cancer. But we are pretty sure we know the the environmental causes for them and so even though they tested negative my risk doesn't change as much because we know why we think they got cancer. Now Elizabeth I think it's important to interject here um, you know I, I have one family right now where uh, we've got two sisters and a mother with breast cancer the patient is now the third of the three sisters they're all BRCA1 and 2 negative everybody's been tested and I emphasize to people those are the two genes we know about now exactly. there's gonna there's gonna be more genes coming down so yeah. you know that strong family history is still a strong family history you know, you want to elaborate a little bit on that and maybe Kim can as well down down the way sure um, you know the thing about BRCA 1 and 2 mutations those genes actually, when they're functioning properly, work to suppress or block tumor development. And when they have these mutations, what they actually do is stop blocking tumor development. Right. Right. So it's not that they actually cause tumors to develop, it's that they don't work to prevent tumors. Right. And we know that there are a lot of other kinds of genes that work to suppress tumor development or prevent tumor development. And we haven't, we've identified some of those genes for other kinds of cancer. We know about them for colon cancer and certain kinds of skin cancer. And we know that there are a lot of genes out there that we still don't know exactly what they do. And we're still discovering that. So over time, as you quite rightly say, Jay, we'll learn a lot more about what genes we need to be looking for, what genetic yeah. mutations. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.